Hi guys, so today we'll be learning a very simple approach to inner voicings on the key of F. Inner voicings are basically notes that are played in between a chord. So when you take the first chord, which is F major, my approach is you pick the chord, you take the second note of the chord, octave it, and then you look for its 4 and 5. So 1, that's A, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have A is 4 and 5. You can make it 3, 4, 5 as well. So that's this 3, 4, 5. Okay. So you take the chord, look for this middle note, play it 4 and 5. Just as simple as that. Is that okay? So let's try the second chord, G minor. This middle note is a B flat. So the same thing applies. Is that okay? So middle note is 4 and 5. We can look at the third chord which is an A minor, middle note C, play C, it's 4, and it's 5. Very simple, or 3, 4, 5. The fourth chord will be a B flat major. This middle note is a D, so same thing. Then the fifth chord will be a C major, with its middle being E. So you look for E's 4 and 5, that's it. So we have for E. Alright, then the next is a D minor, middle note F. You play F's 4 and 5. As simple as that. Then our last note is an E, so we have an E diminished. Yeah, middle note being a G. So you look for G's 4 and 5, simple as that. See how it sounds. <laughs> Sorry. But note that what works on one works on its sharp as well. And what works on the four also works on the flat five or the sharp of the four. Okay, so let's see. It also works here. Is that good? And what we do here also works here. Is that okay? So let's just put it inside and see what happens. Is that okay? So now we have gotten an additional sharp five, a eh, flat five, sorry, and then a sharp one. Okay. So you could play with it and see how best you can apply it. But then let's try a very simple application. Okay. But as usual, please pardon my voice. Um.